When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. There is a silly argument that I hear a lot from moon landing deniers. They point to this clip of the interior of the Apollo 11 command module as evidence that they were faking the footage because, in their words, it shows that the camera was not up against the window like Neil Armstrong said. What they're referring to is a claim that was put forth in the film A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon. And that is that Armstrong, speaking during this clip, says that the camera is right up to the window, or pushed up against the window, or as some have said, right up to the glass. Here's how it was put out during the film. Neil Armstrong falsely explains to the viewers how the shot is attained by putting the camera's lens to the window's glass, as it would have to be if they were the claimed distance away from the Earth. We only have one uh, window that uh, has a view of the Earth, and it's filled up with the TV camera. If the window was completely filled up with a TV camera, as he stated, then an astronaut's arm would not be able to get between the camera and the window, as it obviously does here in this outtake. South America becomes... The film then moves forward to this section here and calls it the real camera location. Finally, the iris is opened up and you can see the real location of the camera and the very bright and near Earth out the window. The problem is the makers of A Funny Thing have made two critical errors. First, they exaggerate what Armstrong actually said. Notice how the narrator says, By putting the camera's lens to the window's glass. While Armstrong himself said, And it's filled up with the TV camera. Those are very different things. The second crucial error is that the filmmakers ignored the context of the exchange by editing out what else was said in it. And they edited the footage on purpose, and that makes them liars. People that repeat this position are just guilty of not doing their own research. In full context. Uh, 11, uh, Houston, uh, could you describe, uh, from your view, uh, the uh, polar cloud cap appears to us to... Uh, extend uh, down the western coast of uh, North America. Uh, would, you, would you estimate how far it ex uh, extends down, over? Trying to fit everybody into the window. It appears that the cloud cap comes down uh, a little bit below uh, the southern extremity of Alaska. Roger. We've, uh, 11, we've lost our picture here now. Okay, Apollo uh, 11, Houston, we've got the picture back now. Unfortunately, we only have one uh, window that uh, has a view of the Earth, and it's filled up with a TV camera, so uh, your view now is probably better than ours is. Roger, we copy. Uh, 11, uh, Houston, uh, if you could uh, comply, we'd uh, like to see uh, some smiling faces up there. If you could give us some interior views, I'm sure everybody would like to uh, see you over. Okay, we'll uh, reconfigure the TV for that. Roger.
Notice right here, a perfectly straight edge breaks the shape of the Earth. This is the edge of the rectangular window, which I'll come back to. What the filmmakers and other moon landing deniers ignore are these statements here. On 11 Houston, uh, here's to us that uh, we're seeing a view from outside, plus a little of the, uh, of the inside. It appears you've taken the camera away from the left window. Now over. That's correct. We're uh, moving it back and uh, reconfiguring for uh, interior lighting. Roger. So there you have it. When moon landing deniers claim that Armstrong lied when he said the camera was against the glass, and this shot proves it, they are first exaggerating what Armstrong said, and second, they are lying through omission by ignoring the fact that the astronauts said they were moving the camera back. Oh, and just to kill another claim while I'm here, once again, the round window claim. Some people see this roundish shape as evidence that the window is round, and I could talk about how diffuse bright lights can round out edges, but that's not needed. I'm not going to cut away, but I will speed it up a bit as I talk. The published specs and the crafts on display in museums show that the command module had only one round window. The others were rectangular and triangular with straight edges. If one wanted to, he could argue that it's possible that the window we were looking at was the round window, except for the fact that the round window is seen right here. The last three and a half minutes has been one continuous shot, from the Earth out of the window, to the interior of the craft with the astronauts in freefall, to the actual round window of the craft that people claim was used to fake the roundness of the Earth. There it is. Come up with something else, fellas. These claims are dead. No one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.